Hey, Melman, have you seen Alex lately? He's not looking so good. Oh, dear. I knew it was only a matter of time until one of us contracted a disease indigenous to these new lands and passed it on to the rest. Our bodies aren't designed to survive in this environment. Do you understand, Gloria? Our bodies just aren't designed! Melman, you need to grab some downtime, buddy. I don't think Alex has any kind of disease. I think he's just getting really, really hungry. Did you notice he didn't eat a single thing at the banquet? Oh, that. Well, yes, I noticed, but that's just because we couldn't find a steak tree. Once we find one of those, he'll be eating like a sheep with enterotoxemia. Except hopefully he won't die afterwards. That's all well and good, except there's no such thing as a steak tree! Uh-oh. Now I'm back to being worried again. And that can lead to equine protozoal myelitis, or EPM for short. Melman, you're not getting equine proto whatever. We just need to figure out a way for Alex to get some steak. There's Maurice over there. Why don't you go ask him if he can help? Melman! Thank the stars you're here! Hey, do you have any steak trees in this jungle? I am sorry, my friend, but I have not heard of such a thing. But if we did have this steak you speak of, it would have to be on this grand baobab tree. Unfortunately, though, it is festering with baobab worms. Perhaps you could help us save the tree from the worms and maybe find this thing you call steak. Good thing I'm not tall enough to see these. Oh, worms! Why didn't you tell me they were so horrible? I'm trying, Melman. You can save the tree and wipe out the worms and their nests by gliding to these mushroom platforms around the tree. Our bad buddies have supplied you with coconuts to fling at them. But I heard that worms in the nest are poisonous. My body cannot tolerate toxins. Then make sure you don't touch them. Glide to the platform over there. Ah! No one told me that these coconuts would be hairy? Why can't I throw something clean, like antibacterial soaps or something? I better watch out for those vultures. Maybe I can fling some coconuts at them. As much as I want to complain, there's something about flinging these coconuts I actually like. You saved the tree! If I climb much higher, the risk of pulmonary edema increases tremendously. Good news, Melman! We found the Baobab Worm's primary colony!
That's good news? Well, the good news is that we found them. The bad news is that they're breeding like crazy! We need to stop them! Pronto! That's terrible! It looks like there's quite an army of those filthy little creatures down there. Right. And that's where you come in. This time, instead of coconuts, you're going to have to fling these durian bombs down onto the worms and their nests. We're counting on you, Melman. Let's get a move on! <laughs> Shot long neck. Now find the next pile of durians and bomb the next colony. side effects of being up this high. mentioned my acrophobia before agreeing to do this goal? the last few before they could escape. Better make sure and take out all of these disgusting worms if this place is ever to be clean. If just one of these worms survives, the filth will never die. <coughs> These worms is their own little ticking time bomb of contamination! Melvin, you did it! You're our hero! That was high pressure! You really stretched yourself! <laughs> Melvin? I can't believe you! Since when are you such a stud? You totally saved the day! Don't suppose you're up for another little task? Hey, it's my turn. What's the job? Remember that out-of-control mole from the banquet? He and his friends are taking up residence underneath our garden! They're ruining it! situation, all right? I've been busting my hump to keep this garden productive, and these moles could care less, all right? You think you can help me? I'm game. What do you need me to do? All right. These bad boys come in three colors. The black ones are mild. The gray ones are wild. The brown ones are somewhere in the middle, all right? You show these pests you mean business, and I'll give you a point for the black, two for the brown, and three for those gray menaces. And if you can get enough points, my troubles will be literally buried. Literally. Words. I'm a spy! You can't have the wrong guard to do whatever it is you do. I feel good! Oh! <laughs> 
even better, all right? Have you seen your friend Alex lately? Alex? Oh yeah, he's down there. I mean, have you seen his condition? It's making me very uncomfortable. You three look delicious tonight. <laughs> like to come down for, for dinner? This isn't good. I'm gonna go find Marty. Melman? We need to get across this valley to the cave, over there, if we want to catch up to the others. Alex seems to have developed a strange, unhealthy obsession with you, Mort. Yeah, you think? Your little helicopter spinning routine could come in handy. If you can fly me from one platform to another, we can avoid your crazed friend. Sounds doable, I guess. Just make sure to stay elevated and don't fall down to the ground level, or, uh... Well, let's just say you don't want to know what could happen. Right. Mort! There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Steak! Steak! Give me steak! Alex, snap out of it! Go uncrazy or something! Lord, there's something I'd like to Somehow discuss I with you! Somehow I never thought Alex would be the first one of us to fall into a deep psychosis. the ground, I think I might have been a goner. Yeah, I'm getting worried about Marty and Gloria being down there. Less worried now. It seems your friend Alex has finally understood his predatory nature. Huh? What are you talking about? What I mean is, Alex is a lion and lions eat other animals. That's where steak comes from! Uh, still not getting it. Does this explain things, Melman? Alex just bit me on the butt! See? Yep, that is a bite on the butt, all right. Unless we all want to be steak, I suggest we beat it. 